Welcome to another edition of All or Not According to Jack. And uh, on this rainy, windy night on Long Island. And it is uh, again a sad day for uh, all Seinfeld fans. Just a few weeks ago, I think it was April 4th, uh, we we right on this very show, we said goodbye to Estelle Harris, George Costanza's mother. Uh, so uh, just a couple days ago, we said goodbye to yet another uh, beloved cast member of Seinfeld, uh, Elizabeth Sheridan, also known as Liz Sheridan, who played Jerry's mother, uh, Helen Seinfeld. Uh, she, I wouldn't say she was as funny as Estelle Harris with the, the witty, snappy lines and comebacks, but uh, she was a very doting, loving mother, just like I say that uh, same thing about my mother. Uh, so let's talk about Liz Sharon in a little bit. So she was born in New York City, 1929. She was a dancer, a singer, lived and entertained in the Caribbeans, probably in the mid fifties to about the mid sixties, moved back to New York, uh, got a bunch of roles on Broadway. Uh, she appeared in Broadway probably in the mid to late sixties to the mid to late seventies where she appeared with uh, Meryl Streep and Christopher Lloyd of all people. What does a yellow light mean? Uh, in the 77 musical, Happy End. Then uh, Liz moved out to Los Angeles, had, so, had very many supporting roles, too many to name, until she, uh, I guess she, she also had a bit part in uh, the show Alf. Uh, and then she landed the role as uh, Helen Seinfeld, where she appeared for all nine seasons. And ironically, she was the only supporting member uh, in addition to the four main characters to be on Seinfeld for all nine seasons. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld, this is what he had to say, or the real Jerry Seinfeld. Liz was always the sweetest, nicest mom, TV mom a son could wish for. Every time she came on our show, it was the coziest feeling for me. So lucky to have known her. She was a sweet lady. Uh, what else can we say? She was also known for playing eccentric neighbor, Mrs. Ochmanek on Alf. And uh, as we mentioned, she was on Broadway with Meryl Streep and Christopher Lloyd. So uh, most notable fact was that she dated the, the actor James Dean for a while. James Dean, I know just what you mean from the Eagles. Um, so uh, without getting into it too much, so probably her best episodes on Seinfeld were uh, memorable for me was the, epi the double episode in season five with the raincoats where uh, Morty was uh, hell bent in going into business with Kramer and, uh, and selling a bunch of you're gonna sell those old crappy raincoats. Also season three, The Pen, the famous episode where uh, Lane and, and Jerry jetted off to Florida to, to Del Boca Vista to visit uh, Helen and Morty Seinfeld and all the mishaps that happened in that episode. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, other notable episodes, uh, The Wallet where uh, Morty thought he lost his wallet in the doctor's office and created a whole big commotion. And then, of course, there was the episode with the Cadillac, where Jerry buys his father a Cadillac, gets his, in which eventually leads to his father's downfall as the uh, president of the Condo Association. Uh, too funny. So, uh, Reading through some dialogue from that famous episode of The Pen, uh, Elaine, Mrs. Seinfeld, please, I'm begging you, put the air conditioner on. Helen, you're hot? <laughs> uh, then Helen, what'd you take his pen for? Helen, I know his wife. 
She has some mouth on her. She'll tell everyone in the condo now that you made him give you the pen. They're talking about it right now. Another one. Helen on the phone. Oh, hello, Gussie. What? Jerry wouldn't do that. Jack gave it to him. All he said was he liked it. I mean, nobody put a gun to his head, to Jerry. You're giving him that back that pen. Okay, another scene. Helen, you're going underwater? Jerry, yes, generally, that's where scuba diving is done. What do you have to go underwater for? What's down there that's so special? Jerry, what's so special up here? <clears throat> Good banter in that episode. Of course, she didn't have a line when Elaine said, Stella! Season four, The Wallet. Helen to Jerry. Why did you give this crazy guy... Why did you... Why did you tell this crazy guy that Kramer didn't invite him to his party? And then Kramer, who Helen also adored, He's after Jerry now. He's after you? Why is he after you? Morty, do you hear this? Some crazy guy is after Jerry. I'll make some phone calls. I want to know what you did that he's after you. Jerry, I didn't do anything. He just doesn't like me. Doesn't like you? How could anybody not like you? Jerry, Ma, I know this may be hard for you to understand but I am sure there are many people who don't like me. Don't say that, Jerry. It's true. No, it's not true. You're a wonderful, wonderful boy. Everybody likes you. It's impossible not to like you. Kramer? Yeah, I like him. Do -do 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 -do. Season four. The outing. I don't have all the dialogue from that, but of course, when Morty and Helen saw the newspaper article about uh, Jerry and George supposedly being outed, Jerry, I'm sorry I made you wear those culottes. Season five, the raincoats. Hello, Newman. Apparently, she didn't like him either. And then uh, speaking to George. Oh, no, speaking to Jerry after George left. We don't care for the Costanzas. Boy, I had no idea you felt that way about the Costanzas. They're exhausting. It's like being in an asylum. And then the part I liked best, after Jerry uh, came home with, from uh, being at the movies with his girlfriend, Rachel, you were necking during Schindler's List? How could you, Jerry? Very funny. Then the last one that I remember, uh, they couldn't figure out how to work the organizer. Finally, Jerry got the organizer working. Yay, Jerry did it. And then, of course, there were the conversations that they had about the early bird special. Uh, you know, Jerry's like, I, I can't go to eat at 4.30. I can't go eat a steak at 4.30 to save a couple of bucks. Which ultimately led to his father's demise. Oh, look, look who doesn't have to eat before six o'clock anymore. Uh, and then of course there was the last episode where good old sweet Helen Seinfeld packs Jerry's cereal and he's, uh, he knows he's going to go to prison. What are you packing all that cereal for? It's not like he's going for a life sentence. Liz Sheridan, we love you. We miss you. Rest in peace. This is Jack Toledano. All or not, according to Jack. Hopefully, uh, the next Seinfeld episode, which I will be recording with a special guest this Thursday, it will be a more cheerful topic as we discuss the top 10 episodes of Elaine Bennis. So long, everybody. <laughs>